Hello! Welcome to my day of insanity. Today we are making a tiered tulle petticoat to hopefully hold up the skirts of the hobbit dress. I have my doubts, but we will see. Anyway, let me just show you where we're at. Um, I started on the petticoat, but I didn't get very far. Here are all of my strips cut that are cut out. I should have enough to make one full layer. I have an order coming where I will be able to make more layers. I have a hundred yards of a horsehair braid that I'm going to be adding to it because, let's admit, I'm going to need all the floof I can get. I have my doubts on if this will actually work, so I have another plan in the works. It just need to figure things out. Well, I now have a modern art installation in my backyard. Anyway. I will use this petticoat for other things. I love big poofy ball gowns, so I'm sure it will not go to waste. Okay, welcome to the whiteboard, where I'm going to tell you the plan of attack, because I am probably going to get hyper-focused and forget to film at some point, so I want to make sure this is very clear to you right now. So each piece is about 60 inches wide, because that's how wide the tool was. So we are starting with one 60 wide piece and then we are going to two and then we are going to four and then we're going to eight and then we're going to 16 and then 32 and with those I should have 48 inches long which is the exact measurement I need for this thing so that is the plan. As I get the other fabric that I'm going to need, probably in about a week, um, I'm probably going to have like two two layers and like two four, but like four eight and four sixteen, and then like a forever amount of thirty twos, because that's where all the fluff is going to come from. This is going to be insanity. Also, I want to like put a shout out to like the fabulous lady I met at the fabric store today. If you're watching this, Marty, one, it's awesome that we share a name. Two, welcome to the insanity of my workroom. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I just, I'm going to go insane today and it's only going to be one layer. So pray for me, sacrifice to your gods light a candle. I don't know what religious thing you do. Just send me help from divinity. Yeah, that, that's what I want. Okay, so you can kind of see this piece right here. Um, this is two strips that have been gathered down into one. So I'll make two of these and then I'll gather these down onto the petticoat. So you can kind of see that like this is where that layer of 8 is, and then 16, and then 32. The reason how come I switched to doing it this way is so I could, one, see more progress, and two, so I don't have to, like, gather down 32 layers all at once. So I'm hoping this works. It's just a lot of repetitiveness. I'm probably going to turn on... Okay, camera strap, get out of the way. Um, I'm probably going to turn on, like, some sort of feel-good long movie and just get this done. Um, I have 20 something strips there. Um, I'm probably going to recount them and then cut however many that I need to finish the first layer and then call it good for today. If I have more energy or brain power I will keep going um, but I'm not going to completely cut this one up today. Um, I think I'm just going to just start making this thing in like layers and just see how it goes. So here goes nothing. Yay. All right. I will check in with you guys once I have made some more progress. Hopefully once I have the first layer of this petticoat tool thing done. So I'm on like day three of wearing the same sweater and I feel like I need to like explain myself. When I get hot, I throw the sweater on the floor, and then when I get cold, I put it back on. So, do I intentionally wear the same sweater for multiple days? No. Is it just the sweater that I have on the floor of my studio? Yes. 
Anyway, let's give you an update. So I am sitting as far back as I can in my little sewing corner, and you can see that this skirt has consumed my studio pretty much almost entirely. By the time I get the other layers on, it will have, which is going to be great. My fear has been my fear all along that this is not going to be strong enough to hold up the heavier parts of the Hobbit dress. So if not, I have a backup plan and I have a plan on how to use this focus. Focus! I have a plan on how to use this. Um, this is the petticoat that I used for Elsa. I just put it over to give me a better idea on how full it was because the tool is see-through and I wanted to get a good view on how big the skirt is. So I've decided that I want all of the tiers to have the horsehair braid on them. So I'm going to need to do some math and figure out how much more I need to order because 100 yards is not going to be sufficient. And yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, I think I need to just order another 100 yards. That's my estimate. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So I thought I would take a quick minute and show you guys the like setup that I have that's like making this petticoat process go a whole lot faster. Like, whoo, should have been doing this from the beginning. Um, but let me show you. So this is my serger and I took one of the spools off the spindle thing and I put the roll of horsehair braid right there so that way as I go it'll just like unravel and it's not gonna like coil up and do the weird thing that it would, um, that it did when I was doing the other one and the spool was on the floor. Um, the other thing is I have the piece that needs to be pleated or gathered on the bottom so it slides really nice and neat. I'm using the presser foot to measure about how far the gathers and pleats need to be. So I'm like sewing the gather and it together and the horsehair on all at the same time. And am I going slow? Yes, but it's also saving time because I'm not sewing all the layers, then gathering everything, then sewing it together, and then putting the horsehair on. It's it's combining all the steps, and I should have been doing this from the beginning. The reason how come I didn't is because I was worried that the pleats would create a different effect than the gathers, but I don't think they are. So that's what we're doing. I thought I'd give you guys that update. This is the last tier on the second layer um, and then I'll put that together and see how it goes. I've already done a test run of um, two layers of the petticoat plus the hobbit skirt. It crushes it a lot um, but what it does is it gives it volume on the top so it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be what I had in mind but it'll work. Um, so I'm going to maybe figure out a cage still. But this is not what I was wanting at all. So uh, I guess I gotta figure that out now. Yay. Somehow the fail on the cage gave me a renewed motivation or desire to finish this petticoat. And so I worked on it for an entire day. I don't think I moved from my little sewing corner which is probably why my body hates me and cramps up and is really painful all the time. But look at this skirt. This is only two layers. So according to my plans and my math, I have two more to go. I still don't think that it's going to be perfect or exactly what I want, but it's something. Hey you, if you want early access to videos like the Hobbit dress series, they're available over on Patreon.